Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But in all things, give thanks. For this is the day in which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is truly a good God. And He is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're giving glory and honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is the head of our lives. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. My soul shall make my boast in the Lord. Yes. And the humble shall hear and be glad in be it. Glad. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to get right to our lesson. We prayed earlier and we Bisha just thought to team. We ask that you pray our strength in the Lord. So we find it a, a privilege to be before you today. I am Elder Cosmo Sims. And we have Jesus Reign Restoration Ministry. Amen. 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 And uh, we're going to go right to the Word of God. <laughs> and the Word of God, hallelujah. The title that we have today, Do What the Lord Say Do. Do what the Lord say do. You know, the song writer said, My heart is fixed. Uh, Hallelujah, my mind is made up to do what the Lord say do. Hallelujah. And I want to turn your Bibles to 1 Samuel. And I want you to turn your Bibles to 1 Samuel. Samuel moja chapter 15 verse 22 kwanza mstari wa and it's going to be a part of our thought i'm going to expound on it after we read uh verses 22 hallelujah through through 26 amen i want i want you to read uh 22 in swahili please nae samuel akasema je bwana huzipenda sadaka za kuteketezwa na dhabihu husawa sawa na kuitii sauti ya Bwana angalia kutii ni bora kuliko dhabihu na kusikia kuliko mafuta ya beberu and 20 verse 22 and Samuel said have the lord uh, as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the lord behold to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. Amen. To obey God is better than sacrifice. If you're willing and obedient, you eat the, the good of the land. God will bless you. He will keep you if you're faithful. Well, so the man of God is saying is to. Hallelujah. To be obedient to the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To obey God is better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that good and perfect and acceptable will of the Lord. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do what the Lord say do. Read uh, the next verse, please. Shina tatu nasema kwani kuasi ni kama dhambi ya uchawi na ukaidi ni kama ukafiri na vinyago. Kwa kuwa umelikataa neno la Bwana, yeye naye amekukataa wewe usiwe mfano. For rebellion is is as sin as witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Here it is. The man of God said, 
being disobedient, being rebellious to God, hallelujah, being doing, committing sin before God is worse than witchcraft, hallelujah, and being stubborn, hallelujah, being stiff-necked is as iniquity, sin, and idolatry, worship and idols. Yana sema kuwa na kiburi na mishi mbele za Bwana ni sawa sana kwa Abudu Sanam. He told he told Saul because thou has rejected the word of the Lord he has also rejected thee as being king. Akamwambia Sauli kwa sababu umekataa kumtii Mungu na amekukataa kama mfalme. What led up to all of this the Lord had anointed Saul king and told through his prophet instructed him to wipe out I believe the Amalek. <coughs> to wipe them out ugly don't bring nothing back walielekezwa kwamba wawafutilie mbali wa amaleki lakini yeye hakutii but he disobeyed god and brought back he he wiped out the people but he brought back the best of everything that they had akaua watu akaleta mifugo na vitu vingine and when the man of god uh, samuel had appeared before him he said he did the will of the lord and he was lying yani uh, aka Repeat that again. Saul had lied to the Samuel, saying that he did the will of the Lord. And Samuel said, "Well, I hear sheep in the background. What's that?" Hallelujah! And Saul and Samuel, uh, he rebuked Saul as, as as far as not obeying the voice of the Lord. And bringing back those things of the Amalek, even his king. Na Samuel akamuonya uh, Sauli akamwambia kosa lilo fanye. The king of the Amalek. Akamrudisha mpaka mfalme alirudi naye. Well a man where Samuel had to uh, slay Hallelujah the king of the Amalek. Yaani Samuel ilibidi ashughulikie ile kazi amalize vizuri, amalize ile mfalme. Amen. So God had repented that he even made him king because it's disobedient. It's, it's best to do what God say do. I want you to read 24 through 26. Ndipo Sauli akamwambia Samueli, nimefanya dhambi maana nimeihalifu amri ya Bwana pia na maneno yako kwa sababu Naliwaogopa wale watu nikaitii sauti yao. Basi sasa nakuomba unisamehe dhambi yangu, nirudi pamoja nami, nipate kumwabudu Bwana. Samuel akasema, sitarudi pamoja nawe kwa sababu umelikataa neno la Bwana. Bwana naye amekukataa wewe usiwe mfano wa Israeli. So verse 24 And Saul said unto Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed against the commandments of the Lord and thy words because i fear the people and obey their voice mm. now therefore i pray thee pardon my sin right and turn again with me that i may worship the lord and samuel said unto saul mm-hmm. i will not return with thee for thou hast rejected the word of the lord right and the Lord has rejected thee mm-hmm. from being hallelujah being king over Israel. Right. Hallelujah. So he had lied and said, well, it's the people. He blamed it on the people, but God pulled the cover on his lie and now he wants forgiveness of his sins. Hallelujah. The, hallelujah. I want you to read twenty seven, please. Kisha nasema inasema naye Samueli alipogeuka aende zake Sauli akaushika upindo wa vazi lake nalo likararuka 28 Kisha naye anasema basi Samueli akamwambia leo Bwana amekurarulia ufame wa Israeli naye amempa jirani yako aliye mwema kuliko wewe So as Samuel turned about to go away he let laid hold on the skirt of his mantle of his robe uh-huh. and he rent it he tore the man of god's robe 28 and samuel said unto him the lord have rent the kingdom of israel from thee this day and has given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou god will hallelujah 
it's best. It, the the reason why this thought is here, uh -huh. the the gist of this thought is obedience is better than sacrifice, and disobedience and stubbornness is worse than witchcraft. This is an example in God's word. Uh -huh. Hallelujah! These are examples for us to live by. Right. That if God call you to a work, yeah. Hallelujah. Yep. Let us be faithful, saints. Yani ili neno la leo kini cha neno la leo. Ni kwamba kuti ni bora kuliko kutoa sadaka. Yaani Mungu akikuitia kwenye kazi fulani kuwa mwaminifu kwa hiyo kazi. Hata kama ni ndogo, inasumbua. Unaona wengine tuna mafua leo, lakini tuna, tuna bado tunasimamia kazi Mungu aliyotuitia. Amen. You find yourself fighting against God and you can't win. Kuna wakati unaweza kujikuta unapambana na kazi ya Mungu na utashi, utajikuta unashinda. Get wisdom, get an understanding. Amen. Let's go to Romans the 8 8th chapter, Warumi. verse 30. Warumi nane. Hallelujah. Nane. We're going to do what the Lord say do. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to read it in, uh, I'll, I'll read it in Swahili, please. Na wale alio wachagua, tangu wa sili, hao akawaita. Na wale alio waita, hao akawaisabia haki. Na wale alio waisabia haki, hao akawatukuza. Hallelujah. Many are called, but few are chosen. Here in Romans 8 and 30. Moreover, whom he predestinated, predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. He saves. Hallelujah. God knows. It's just all right. Said Jesus knows all about your troubles. He will guide you till the day is done. There is not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. God know what He put in you. Hallelujah. Before each and every one of us were born, God it was predestinated for us to be to this point, especially those that are redeemed in the Lord. Wale ambao kila moja wetu kama tujazaliwa. Mungu alijua tutakuwepo hapa. Haijali haijalishi tumezaliwa katika mazingira gani. Before we were formed in the womb, God knew who Elder Sims was, who Evangelist Felicia Sims was. Kabla atujazaliwa, Mungu alijua sisi wawili kwa mfano tutakuwepo hapa na wewe kwa hapa utakuwepo hapa. Amen. I'm going to prove that. Let's go to Jeremiah. Tuone kitabu cha Jeremiah first chapter. Verse 6. And I would like for you to read, starting with verse uh, 6, and then we're going to expound on these verses. Nipo nilipo sema, abu wana mungu, tazama siwezi kusema, maana mimi mtoto. Then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Jeremiah, Jeremiah saying, I'm a child, I don't, I don't have... What, what am I going to do? What can, what can I say to you, the people of God? What can I say? I'm just a child. What, continue to read 7. Lakini mwana kaniambia, usiseme mimi ni mtoto. Maana utakwenda kwa kila mtu, nitakai kutuma kwake. Nawe utasema kila neno, nitakalo kwa muru. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. God is saying, "Hey, don't don't say you're a child. I'm gonna give you the words. I'm gonna equip you. Hallelujah! I'm not gonna send you out there any kind of way." Right, right. Yani mungu akamambia usisema ni mtoto. Niki kutuma mtakupa neno, mtakupa na kila unacho itaji kufanya kazi. He's gonna give you the knowledge. Yes. He's gonna give you the power. Amen. Amen. So here it is. Don't say that you're a child. Uh -huh. Don't say that. Oh, I'm just. Uh, I'm just. I'm just saved and sanctified. I'm not a deacon. I'm not an elder. I'm not a bishop. I'm not. God is able of these stones to raise up seed unto Abraham. Yani usisema mimi si mchungaji, mimi si shemasi, mimi si njui neno. Mungu akiamua anaza katumi ata mawe ya kaubi. And if we don't praise Him. Hallelujah, he'll make the very rocks cry out. Hallelujah. So I disobeyed God and the man of God say, we got a replacement for you. 
Yaani mtu ambaye alihamtii Mungu, hafanyi kazi ya Mungu, anakuwa ni mvivu. Bwana anasema tu, tu, kuna mtu wa kufanya kazi hiyo badili yako. And we know that replacement was David a man after God's own heart. Unaona sasa Sauli alipozembea kazi aliyopewa na Mungu, alipewa ali, mtu wa, wa badili yake ambaye ni Daudi. Jeremiah 1 and 8 read that please. Mstari wa 8 inasema usiogope kwa sababu ya hao maana mimi nipo pamoja nawe. Ni kuokoe asema Bwana. The Lord said what I said to one I said to all. I want you to take these words as though the Lord is speaking to you because he is. Hallelujah. Unataka unatoa usikilize maneno kama Bwana anasema na wewe moja kwa moja. Kwa maana anasema his word. Hallelujah. Number 8 verse 8. Be not afraid of their faces for I am with thee to deliver thee saith the Lord. Read mm-hmm. nine please. Tisa ndipo Bwana aka akaunyosha mkono wake akanigusa kinywa changu Bwana kaniambia tazama nimetia maneno yangu kinywani mwako Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said unto me behold I have put my words in thy mouth Read ten please Namba 10 angalia nimekuweka leo juu ya mataifa na juu ya falme ili kungoa na kubomboa na kuharibu na kuangamiza ili kujenga na kupanda Verse 10 See I have this day set thee over the nations and and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant Hallelujah God has given him authority Mungu anawapa mamlaka God has given him power Mungu anawapa nguvu And he said I got your back na anasema niko pamoja na nyie. I want you to read verse 17 please. 17 says Haya basi 17. Wewe jifunge viuno, ukaondoke, ukawaambie maneno yote niliyokuamuru. Usifadhaike kwa ajili yao. Nisije nikakufadhaisha wewe pam- wewe mbele yao. 18 and 19. 18. Maana tazama nimekufanya leo kuwa mji wenye boma na nguzo ya chuma na kuta za shaba juu ya nchi zote juu ya nchi yote samahani juu ya wafalme wa Yuda na juu ya wakuu wake na juu ya makuhani wake na juu ya watu wa nchi hii 19 nao watapigana nawe lakini hawatakushinda maana mimi nipo pamoja nawe asema Bwana Hallelujah 17 verse 17 Jeremiah 1:17 The Lord said therefore gird up your loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee be not dismayed at their faces lest I conf- confound them right confound thee before uh-huh. them uh-huh. look god is saying hey be strong be courageous Gird up your lord like be a man kuwa kama mwanaume aliyekaa Anka. and go and speak to these people as I command you and don't be when they make faces at you and and they want to curse you and they want to do a whole lot of you, you, you hold your face like a flint you be strong hallelujah 18 for behold I have made thee this day a def- defend city an iron pillar a brazen wall hallelujah against the whole land against king the king of judah against the princesses thereof against the priests thereof and against the people of the land god said i'm look when whatever they say whatever they do i'm giving you authority over all of them the king the princesses everybody Yaani Mungu mstari unapenda sana kutumiwa kwenye vita vya maombi ya vita vya kiroho. Mungu anamwambia yani nimekuimarisha vya kutosha. Wewe nenda kafanye kazi yako. Not by my power, not by my might, but by my spirit says the Lord. Sio kwa nguvu wala mamlaka yangu bali kwa roho wa Mungu asema Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said the same thing to Joshua. Alimwambia hata hivyo Joshua. He said as I was with, you, with my servant Moses I am with you be courageous, be strong. Hallelujah. And and hey, I'm going to fight for you. Akamwambia kama baba nilikuanga na mtumishi wangu Ibrahim, Abraham, Ibrahim na mimi nitakuwa nawe. Samani. Kama ilivyokuwa na mtumishi wangu Musa. God called him. God called him. God predestinated him. Yes. God 
Hallelujah. He called him from the womb. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The, the, the scripture. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But he, he, he made it clear to him that I'm the Lord. I, when I formed thee, I'm going to read it from number five again. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. Alimwambia kwa Jeremiah moja tano kwamba kabla sijakuumba katika God knows all man because he Na created kibu. man in his image. Mungu anatujua kwa sababu alituumba kutoka sana mfano. He know what he put in you. Anajua alichoweka ndani yako. So before you were formed in the moon, he he knew you. Kama hujazaliwa Mungu alishakujua. Amen. Na mapungufu yako yote wewe pambana na before you come forth, before you were born, hallelujah, he sanctified you and ordained you to this work, hallelujah. Tell me if that ain't a blessing. Many are called but few are, few are chosen. Let us pray for more laborers and, and hallelujah and uh, to the harvest. Let's pray for more laborers in the church. Hallelujah. 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 Number 19. And they shall fight against thee. The Lord is telling them they're going to fight. They're going to kick. They're going to they gonna rebel. Yeah. But they shall not prevail against thee. Against you. But here's the blessed assurance. For I am with thee said the Lord. To deliver you. To deliver you. To deliver you. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Let us go hallelujah to. Genesis 12 and 1. Let us go Genesis 12 and 1 and we're going to talk about Abraham uh, God is calling a lot of us not just to ministry but God is calling a lot of us to do a work in the body of Christ Amen God has called us to be a witness for him and to win souls Na kuokoa roho za wengi. Amen. Amen. So Abraham, you said, well, why are you reading like why? Because what God do for one, he he don't have no respect of person. This I'm going to give you an example of how he called Abraham and how Abraham answered the call. Tutaona mfano alipomuita Abraham na Abraham akajibu wito. Remember the Bible is for our example of how we to live by for us to live by. Tunaisoma hii kama mfano. Kumbuka Biblia iko kwetu kama mfano. The word of God. Neno la Mungu. In Genesis 1 correction Genesis 12 chapter and first verse. Can you read uh verses 1 through 3 please? Nasoma moja paka tatu Bwana akamwambia Abraham, "Toka wewe katika nchi yako na jamaa zako na nyumba ya baba yako, uende mpaka nchi nitakayokuonyesha. Nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa taifa kubwa na kukubariki na kulikuza jina lako nawe uwe baraka. Nami nitawabariki wa kubarikio, naye akulaanie nitamlaani. Na katika wewe jamaa zote za dunia watabarikiwa." Hallelujah. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto the land that I will show thee. And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and shall be a, and thou shalt be a blessing. Mm -hmm. And I will bless them that bless thee. Mm -hmm. And curse him that curse thee. Right. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. God is is called. God is calling your name. Is God still calling your name? Do you hear the voice of the Lord? Huh? Through his spirit, is God still ordering your steps? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is he, is, can you can you say yes, Lord, through his you hear the Lord through the Holy Ghost, through the, the Spirit of God? Is the Spirit of God communicating with you? 
If your answer is no, hallelujah, it's time for renewing of the, the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's time to get right before God and re repent and get right before God. You say, well, what do you mean by that? Yani ni wakati wa kutengeneza na Mungu. I'm going to get back to Abraham, but what happened to Saul is when he disobeyed God, God stopped talking to him. Hivyomtokea Sauli alipomkiuka Mungu, Mungu aliacha kusema naye. Even to the point that he went to a witch to bring up Samuel, hallelujah, from the grave just to get a word from the Lord. Hata baadaye kabidi ya kaende kwa mchawi. Mercy God. Kuinua roho ya Sauli kutoka kaburini ya Samuel kutoka kaburini ili aweze kusema naye. You say you sanctify you feel with the Holy Ghost you should still hear God calling your name. Kama umejezwa na Roho Mtakatifu unapaswa wewe unasikia Roho Mtakatifu akisema na wewe na ukisikia Yesu akiita jina lako. Why because it wasn't just like what uh, Isaac and Jacob it wasn't their father and mother that named them. Hallelujah. It was God. Ni Mungu aliwaita kwa majina yao. Amen. Zechariah concerning John the Baptist. Hallelujah. They said when he was born, shall he be called Zechariah? Should he be called Junior? No, his name is John. Umeona Zechariah, mtoto wa Zechariah mbatizaji. Hallelujah. Alimpa lile jina. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. He has purpose. Tuna sababu. It was predestinated. Hallelujah. Moses being drawn from the his name is to be drawn from the water. Yaani Musa maana alitolewa kwenye maji. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. But God told Abraham, he said, now he said unto Abraham, get the leave your leave your country, leave your your family members, leave your father's house, and I'm going to send you to a land, hallelujah. A land that I will show thee. And he, hallelujah, he, 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 he heard God's voice and he left, hallelujah. And, and he said, I'm going, God gave him a promise, I'm going to make you a great nation. Hallelujah, I'm going to bless you. I'm going, and those that curse you, I'm going to curse them. I'm on your side. Amen. Mungu alimambia, alimambia, yuko pamoja nae. Watakamu laani, watalaaniwa. Those that bless you, I'm going to bless them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And and all and all uh, and 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 in thee all families of the earth shall be blessed. Na kupitia yeye Abraham familia za mataifa mengi ulimwenguni yatabarikiwa. I want you to read 4 through 8 please. Namba 4 na 5 4 mpaka 8 basi Abraham akaenda kama Bwana alivyomwamuru Lutu akaenda pamoja naye. Naye Abraham alikuwa mtu wa miaka sabini na mitano alipotoka harani. Abraham akamchukua mkewe Sarai mkewe na Lutu mwana wa nduguye na vitu vyao vyote walivyokuwa wamejipatia na hao watu waliowapata huko harani. Wakatoka ili kwenda nchi ya Kanani na wakaingia katika nchi ya Kanani. Read up to five. Okay, I'll continue to eight, please, and then I'll summarize. Abraham wa kapita katikati ya nchi paka mahali patakatifu pa shekem. Mpaka mwaloni mwamore. Na wakanani wa siku zile walika katika nchi hiyo. Mwana akamtokea Abraham wakasema, uzao wako nitawapa nchi hii. Nae huko akamjengea madabahu mwana aliyemtokea. Kisha akaondoka huko akaenda mpaka mlima uliopande wa mashariki ya Betheli. Akaipiga hema yake alikuwa na Betheli upande wa magharibi na ayo upande wa mashariki akamjengea bwana madhabahu huko akalitia jina la bwana. So when Abraham verses 4 through 8 when you get a chance in your uh, in your leisure to read Genesis 12 hallelujah verses uh 1 through 8. Yes, please make notation of the uh, verses that we give you for review later. So verse 4, the, the, uh, obeying the voice of the Lord, he, hallelujah, and Lot had went with him. He took Sarah, his wife, hallelujah, and uh, uh, his, uh, his brother's sons. They came along and all this substance and gathered hallelujah uh uh together they all had moved hallelujah forth to go into the land of Canaan amen 
Repeat that please. Amen. Yaani waliondoka mke wake na Lutu wakaondoka kuelekea nchi ya Kanani. Amen. And Abraham he passed through the land of Sukkum and uh and and at the same time Canaan was uh then the land. Hallelujah, part of the land. And uh, and then he, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, Thy seed will I give this land. Talking about Cain. And then uh, he built an altar unto the Lord. Mm-hmm. Amen. Who appeared unto him. Right. And here uh, he pitched his tent there on the east side of Bethel. Hallelujah. And at the same time, and he built there an altar yeah. of the Lord. And that that and call upon the name of the Lord Amen. wherever the Lord send you. Wherever you go, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. God, wherever God send you, don't get in a comfort zone that you you're not going to pick up your cross daily and follow Him. Na umezoea kwamba uwezi kuchukua msalaba wangu kila siku na kumfuata. Let us not get in a comfort zone that we forgot that we have to hallelujah make our daily sacrifices unto the Lord. Tusiwe na mazoea kiasi kwamba tunasahau kila siku tunapaswa kufanya zile dhabihu na kujitoa kwa Bwana. Spiritual sacrifices. Zile sadaka za kiroho. Amen. Sadaka za kiroho. Amen. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. But to be able to hear the voice of the Lord and say, Yeah, Lord, and go, leaving your leaving your your family, leaving the land that you were born in, leaving mother, father, and so forth. And it's times that God wants you to be want you to think and be outside the box. Kuna wakati Mungu anataka uwache yote uliyozoea ukaende mahali kwingine ambako ni tofauti na ulivyozoea. He have him leave his kindred, his family, his land in which he was born in so that he can speak to him. Being there, he could be influenced by mama, daddy and a whole lot of us that made him tell him you, you you're crazy, you're dumb. You it don't make sense. It's a comfort zone when you're at home with family. And, and it's easier to be uh, uh, not persuaded, but uh, uh, hallelujah, for someone to tell you, no, you shouldn't do that. Ni raisu kiuwa nyumbani na wazazi kwa mtu kukwambia, adha mungu wana kusemesha kumtumikia kwa njia fulani. Ni raisu kwa mtu kutokea na alia kuzoya na kwambia pana na usifanya hivyo. So the Lord told him to leave. Leave your family, leave your land, and I'm going to where I'm going to I'm going to take you out somewhere that I'm going uh, to a land that I'm going to give to thee. The point of reading this is it's going to be a time that God God is talking to all of us. Kuna wakati Mungu anaongea na sisi wote katika wakati everyone, everyone in the body of Christ have marching orders. Kila mtu kwenye mwili wa Kristo ana amri aliyopewa. Unfortunately many of us are dollar here. Bahati mbaya wengi wetu ni wagumu kusikia. Many of us are sitting on our gifts. Wengi tumekalia vipaji vetu. Many of us God is saying come higher but afraid to go to step out by faith because of the fact that Hallelujah. They they went over and they see that it's a troubled world. Wengi wanaogopa kwa sababu wanaona kuna kuna vita mbele. They they said like they said to Joshua and Canaan, there are giants in the land. I don't advise you to go there. Kama walivyomwambia Joshua wale waliotumwa wengine wakasema ah kuna kuna majitu kule. There over in over in Hallelujah, over in uh, Asia, there's problems. Kule asi anchi ya bara la asi ya kufano kwa matatizo. Over in the Middle East, or oh, there there is terrorism. Anchi za warabuni kwa kufano kuna matatizo. Oh, in the middle of the country, there are tornadoes, there are fires. Hallelujah, there are earthquakes. I don't advise going there. Au kama anchi za kwetu zingi ne kuna sehemu kuna mbimoto sana inatokea gafla kuna mafuriko kuna matatemeko ya ndi. But in hearing the voice of the Lord, we got to have a yes. Apostle Paul, so on the Damascus road, he said, Here, my Lord, what is it that you want me to do? 
ni ili ungependa ni ni nifanye ni kwa ajili yako Hallelujah do what the Lord say do Fanya kile Mungu Hallelujah do what the Lord say do Sijali naonekanaje Hallelujah thank you Jesus Sijali kama utaeleweka hao Mark 16 verse 15 Marko 16 15 akawaambia Enendeni ulimwengu ni mwote mkaihubiri injili kwa kila kiumbe Read through 18 Aamini na kubatizwa ataokoka. Asiamini atahukumiwa. Na ishara hizi zitafuatana na hao waaminio. Kwa jina langu watatoa pepo, watasema kwa lugha mpya. Watashika nyoka hata wakinywa kitu cha kufisha, hakitawadhuru kabisa. Wataweka mikono yao juu ya wagonjwa na watapata afya. Amen. So here it is. He gave Abraham Hallelujah some marching orders hallelujah Amen. he told he told once Abraham got there hallelujah he Abraham hallelujah believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness right and we become the children of God hallelujah because of faith yaksi tunakuwa watoto wa Mungu kwa imani ndio maana kile alichofanya Abraham kwa kumtii Mungu kile sabio haki we are children of faith but just like I'm giving you an example through Mark 16 Verse 15 through verse 18 of the Lord is telling us giving us commission hallelujah to as his witnesses. They say and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved he that believeth not shall be damned. And these are the signs that follow them that believe. Right. In my name the Lord say in Jesus name and my name his name is what Jesus In my name shall they cast out devils talking about us. Anazungumzia sisi mstari wa 17 anasema kwa jina the people of God the same yes. people of God tutakemea hallelujah toka hallelujah shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues Dio. hallelujah they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not harm them amen they shall lay hands on the sick Hallelujah and they shall recover the power of the Holy Ghost. Nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu inaelezewa hapo mstari wa 17 na 18. Here in Matthew 28 and 18. Read that please. Tukienda kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo 28 mstari wa 18 mpaka 20. Nao Walipomwona walimsujudia lakini baadhi yao waliona shaka. Yesu akaja kwao akasema na wakawaambia, "Nimepewa mamlaka yote mbinguni na duniani. Basi endendeni mkawafanye mataifa yote kuwa wanafunzi mkiwa batiza kwa jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu." 19 and 20 please. Uh, I'm reading 20 now. Thank you Jesus. Na kuwafundisha kuyashika yote ni leo amburu ninyi natazama mimi nipo pamoja nanyi siku zote hata ukamilifu wa dahari Saint Matthew 28:18 through 20 and Jesus came and spoke unto them saying all power has been given unto me in heaven and earth go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost Amen. teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you always even unto the end of the world. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, Father in creation, Son in the church. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost in the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Son of redemption, Holy Ghost in the church. Hallelujah. Father of creation. Hallelujah. Son of redemption. Yaani hapa anasema jina la Baba katika Ghost in the church. Mwana katika ukombozi. Me and my father are one. Katifu kanisani. Amen. Sema yeye na baba ni. Who we talking about? Jesus. Tunamzungumzia Yesu. Not father, son and holy ghost. Sio watu watatu tofauti. And of. Yes, yule mmoja. Of the father. Amen. And of the son. And of the holy ghost. Amen. For in, in John, he said three bear witness in heaven. The But, father, the word and the holy ghost and they're one. Watatu wanatoa ushahidi wanakuwa na ushahidi kule mbinguni. <coughs> Baba, repeat. Father, the Father, the Word and the Holy Ghost. They are one. You are moja. And there's three that agree on earth. Na watatu wanakubaliana hapa mbinguni. The water, maji, the spirit, roho. and the blood. They all three Nadam. agree in one. Yote yanakubaliana. Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thanks for Santa Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the great commission to go. 
Lord, bid me, hallelujah, Lord, bid me to go home because my family going to have a going away party for me. He said, they didn't turn back on the plow. He said, he have no pleasure in them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, bid me to go home to bury my loved one. He, he, he let the dead bury the dead and come follow me. Yani, alikuwa apendi kusikia sababu, yesu. Ni hache kuna ni kawazika watu wakwetu, kusema apano, wache wafu, waziki wafu wenzao. Amen. Amen. And Lord, what about those that, that the, the son of perdition, the one that portrayed you, God? What, what is it to you? Follow thou me. Don't worry about that. I'm, 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 I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he was saying. Yes. Shatari, shall I come? What is it to you? Come follow me. Amen. Pick up your cross daily and follow me, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Ghost will lead you and guide you in all truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He that has ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say. But if we're occupied with things of the world and we have a love of the world and the love of men, then more so the love of God, then we're not going to be able to hear God's voice when we call. You'll miss the rapture. You'll miss your blessing. Hallelujah. If you're willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. And when he told Abraham to leave his home, he didn't, you know, it's good to be able to leave your home and go into and move into a new one. Amen. Well, the scripture said that Abraham, he, he loved not even knowing, hallelujah, where exactly where he was going to go. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us read, uh, let us go to, thank you, Jesus. Hebrew. You got to step out on your most holy faith. Inamidi some uyani mara nyingi inamidi uende kwa imani. Amen. You got to have faith. Inamidi uende kwa imani. The day that come in God must believe that he is. He's the word of them that doesn't seek him. But to do what God call and command you to do. You got to have faith in God. Because God is faithful. Tumeambiwa. Yula nae kuja kwa mungu. Lazima amini kwa mba yeye yuko. Na hutoa tija. Read Hebrews uh, 11, 1 through uh, uh, verse 2. The summa where Bania Kumina Moja, Stella Kwanza Napili, Bas Imani Nikwana Hakika, ya Mambo, Yataragi Wayo, Nibayana, ya Mambo, ya Sio Nikano, Mana Kwahi, or as they went to when she would be one. Faith being the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. These things in which you see every day, they're going to come to an end. Hallelujah. But those things that you don't see, the, hallelujah, that are heavenly, hallelujah, are eternal. Mambo mengi tunayaona leo, ya takwisha, ya tapotea. Yale ambayo hayaonekani, ni yale mambo ndiyo ya milele. Verse 2, the elders, they obtain, they get a good report from it. Hallelujah. By having faith and preaching faith and seeing people uh, being saved, being filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. For because when they heard his voice and hardened not their heart. Yana na elezi msaidi wa pili waze wale wakala ni tangulia kwa kazi yao njema walipata shuhuda njema ni yao. Read verse three through verse five, please. Tatu paka tano kwa imani tu fahamu ya kuwa ulimwengu uliumbwa kwa la mungu hata vitu vinavyoonekana havi kufanya kwa vitu vilivyodhahiri kwa ma kwa imani habili. Alimtolea mungu thabihu iliyobora kuliko kaini Kwa hiyo alishuhudiwa kuwa anahaki Mungu aka zishuhudia sadaka zake Kwa hiyo ijapokuwa mikufa angali akinena Kwa imani enoko alihamishwa Asiji akaona mauti Wala hakuonekana kwa sababu mungu alimhamisha Maana kabla ya kuhamishwa alikuwa ameshuhudiwa kwamba Amen. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. And it says, so that things which are seen 
were not made of things which do appear. Same thing I was saying earlier in my illustration. Hallelujah. Abel, hallelujah, offered up unto God a more excellent sacrifice, hallelujah, of Cain. Right, right. His sacrifice, here it is Cain being jealous. God told Cain, hey, look, this is how, if you want a sacrifice is acceptable, this is what I want you to do. But he chose to, to kill his brother as an answer to deal with that situation. And God put a curse on him. Yani unaona kaili. Alielekezwa na Mungu vizuri tu. Ukitaka sadaka yako ikubaliwe, fanya hivi, hivi na hivi. Badala yake, aka angua kwenda kumuua ndugu yake. If he did what the Lord told him to do concerning his sacrifice, amen. He would accept his sacrifice right along with Abel his brother. Right. Angeweza kukubaliwa kama ambavyo ndugu yake uh, abili hivyo kubaliwa. Amen. Ndio maana kuna neno linasema kuna uzao wa Kaini. God testified of the gift of Abel, Halum, and by it he had been dead yet speaking his blood spoke from the ground. Damu ya abili bado inanena kutoka kwenye ardhi. Damu hunena daima. The blood that runs through our veins represent life. Damu inayopita kwenye mishipa yetu inawakilisha ina uhai. And my, my brother's keeper, he said, he said, the Lord said his blood speaketh from the ground. Yani, alivonjibu mungu kijeuri, kwa mba pani mimi ndiyo nina imtuza kakayangu, wakambiwa dami yake bado ina nena. And he obtained a curse because of. Kalaaniwa. We got to be careful that we don't mock God, be stiff-necked with God, tempt God. Tuwa wangalifu sana mungu asituwane sisi ni wakaidi. Amen. Kabidi ya tushugulikia. But out... Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Bila imani, ni vigumu kumpendeza mungu. For they that come to him must believe that he is and he's the reward of them that constantly seek him. Lakini pasipo imani, hawezekani kumpendeza kwa maana mtu amwendeae mungu lazima amini kwa mba ye yuko. Read verses 7 through 9, please. Uwa patawabu wale wapuatao. Number 7. Kwa imani, nuhu akiisha kuonjwa na mungu katika habari za mambo ya siyo onekana bado kwa jinsi alivyo mcha mungu aliunda safina apate kuokoa nyumba yake kwa na hivyo aka hukumu makosa ulimwengu aka mrithi wa haki ipatika nayo kwa imani up to 8 uh, nine, please. kwa imani Ibrahimu alipoitwa alitika atoke aende mahali pale atakapo pat- papata kuwa urithi akatoka asijue aendako kwa imani alikuwa ugenini katika ile nchi ya ahadi kama katika nchi isiyo yake akikaa katika hema pamoja na Isaka na Yakobo warithi pamoja naye na ahadi ile ile the story of Noah and how he, they vexed his soul uh, from day to day hallelujah he built an ark hallelujah with fear and hallelujah uh, and prepare and prepare the ark Hallelujah, he moved his family, hallelujah. Uh, uh, the world, uh, he had commended the world, uh, condemned the world, the Lord, and, and, and to become heirs of righteousness, which is by faith. Uh, Noah, hallelujah, starting over with him, when God had wiped out, hallelujah, because of the wickedness of man, hallelujah, in the world. Right. God wiped it out with water, hallelujah, 40 days, but then, here it is, hallelujah, God started over and replenished the earth, hallelujah, starting with Noah, hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Unawana nuhu, aliti mungu, aka jenga safina, yani mimi na kuru, uh, it, it blesses, it reminds me how <coughs> men and women of God, whatever they are doing, is not in vain. They might not see the fruits of the prayers they are praying for their unsaved loved ones, yeah. the witnessing. Noah did it by faith. Yes. And... He he reached a reward from it. Yes. E unaonja nuhu, wale ambao wanaombewa dugu zao na watoto wao ambao hawajaokoka, sio bure. Hata kama msipoona matunda mkiwa hai. Nuhu kwa imani, alitengeneza safina kuweza kuokoa na ndugu na watoto wake. Eh. Kwa hiyo na hata sisi tu, tuwe na moyo tuendelee kufanya hivyo. Amen. And that's my point that God is speaking to us. Mungu anasema nasi. God is giving wetu. us instruction through the Holy Ghost. But a lot of us, like I said, are dollar here and a lot of us are not being hallelujah willing and obedient to obey the voice of the Lord and 
it, you're doing what you're doing is bringing a curse upon yourself and bringing put and putting your blessing uh, losing a blessing from the Lord. When you wait to kwa kutokuwa kwa kuwa abishi na kuwa wazito na kuwa vivu tunachelewesha na tunajinyima baraka zetu sisi wenyewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is telling you hallelujah. Uh, you got a job for example and you work in that job and, you, and, and here is the boss want to give you a bonus and want to give you a raise and make you a supervisor and you say no I don't want it. Give it to somebody else. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. Amen. Amen. They, they give up your blessing, something that you work for, and that somebody that somebody see in and see in their eyes that you're worthy of. Yeah, the word the, the 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 labor is worthy of the higher. So we give an example of those that moved and walked by faith that heard God and was faithful enough and moved by faith to believe God to get what God intended for them to do. Wale ambao walikuwa kwa imani walitii Mungu alichowaambia kama Abraham na Nuhu walipokea kila Mungu alichotaka. Now we back to Abraham the eighth verse it said that it said by faith Abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obey. He obeyed God. And he went out not knowing where he went. Amen. With this with this worldwide pandemic. <clears throat> with things going on, political unrest with various governments. Uh, things being displaced and, and people not being able to have basic necessities to live from day to day. There's an uncertainty. But by faith we believe God. Hallelujah that he'll provide our every need. That he will fight our battles. Hallelujah that, hallelujah, that he will uh, can deal with those hallelujah that that will rise up against us hallelujah that will bring discord among us hallelujah that he will be our uh, our healer that he will be our deliverer now and that he will save to the utmost whom we cry abba father hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think. Mungu anaweza kufanya zaidi ya tunavyoweza kuzania. Every Abraham stretching out by faith. Hallelujah. Journeying in a land, the land of promise that God has given him. Hallelujah. And hallelujah, being as a stranger and a pilgrim. Hallelujah. 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 And 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 uh the tabernacles with Isaac, and hallelujah and of Jacob and to the heirs with him of the same promise. Hallelujah. Okay, repeat that for me. I'm going to expound on 11 through, hallelujah, uh, 11 on out. I'm going to expound on that. But these are those that have walked and lived by faith and believed God. And I'm saying that we saints, not, we have to do what God say do to be blessed. We have to do what God say do to accomplish our mission. Amen. Anasema hawa ni wale walio mtii mungu. Yani anataku zumuza kwa mba watu wa mungu. Tumtii mungu wa nacho tuambia. Tufanya kwa wakati sahihi. So here you, you have Abel. Hallelujah. Had a more excellent sacrificed in Cain. You had Enoch that was translated. Hallelujah. Uh, and, and, and that he should not see death. Why? Uh, God had translated him. Hallelujah. And he, the testimony that he had that he pleased God. Amen. I read about, we tell you about Noah. I told you about Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and here also uh, 
where he looked for a city which had foundations who build and make us God. Hallelujah. Ali Ibrahim aliyotoka kwa imani alitafuta mji ambayo misingi yake iko katika Bwana. Amen. And, and talk about all those that hallelujah that were uh, that had seen a far off how they were uh, persecuted uh, uh, of, of them and and had embraced them and uh and confessed that there were strangers and pilgrims upon this earth this world is not my home yani kama ambavyo wao abraham alienda na familia yake kwa nchi asiyofahamu hata sisi ni wageni katika hii nchi tunayopita for they declare plainly how that they see a country kwamba walisema wanaiona nchi lakini nchi ningeni talk about heaven talk about new jerusalem hallelujah tunazungumzia kwamba mbinguni tunategemea ile nchi this world is not our home Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. By faith for Abraham when he was tried, offered up even his own son Isaac, and he received the promise offered hallelujah uh offered up his only begotten son. Tunaona cha mstari wa 17 alipojaribiwa kwamba mtoe Isaka, alimtoa. Alimtoa kwa imani mbele za Mungu. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, of often uh, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called hallelujah naye yeye aliambiwa katika Isaka uzao wako utaitwa amen amen thank you jesus and according hallelujah cuz Isaac got the promise not Ishmael kwa sababu Isaka ndio aliyepata ahadi sio Ishmael amen we are the people of the free not of the bond lady of the bond of of bond Hallelujah. Si ni mzao wa ila aliyekuwa huru, sio mtoto wa utumwani. Amen. Amen. So here all these that live in faith, and even Jacob where the 12 tribes come out of. Hallelujah. 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 You're to 21st verse. It talk about how by faith Jacob when he was dying, blessed both sons of Joseph, worshiping, leaning upon the top of his staff. Hallelujah. Kwa imani Yakobo alipokuwa katika kufa, akambariki kila mmoja wa wana wa Yusufu. Akaabudu, akaegemea kichwa cha fimbo yake. During a time of famine in Egypt, hallelujah, where Joseph, hallelujah, God had had uh, hallelujah, where under certain, certain jealous circumstances of his brothers, how they put him, hallelujah, into slavery and Amen. sent him away as being dead. But God, hallelujah, had made a way through him to uh to help his people survive through a famine, hallelujah, under their under Pharaoh's rule. Yaani wakati ule Yusuf aliyopata nafasi ya kusaidia familia yake wakati wa njaa. Making Joseph governor even of Egypt. Ambaye alikuwa na mamlaka kule Misri. Amen. Amen. An interpretation of a dream of pl- seven years of plenty and seven years, hallelujah, of famine. Ilikuwa ni tafsiri ile ndoto aliyoipata wa miaka saba ya njaa alafu miaka saba ya kubarikiwa. And all that Joseph had went through, hallelujah. And his persecution, his brothers was afraid, but he said you meant it for my bad, but God meant it for my good. Akawaambia jinsi ambavyo walimdhamiria wali kwa mabaya, Mungu amedhamiria kwa kwa mema. Amen. And because of Pharaoh's wisdom, he Egypt had prospered at that time kwa sababu ya hekima yake Misri ilibarikiwa wakati ule by faith Moses was born and hid three months amen uh, and, and they were seen as a proper child hallelujah uh, and they were not afraid of the king's commandments kwa imani Musa alipozaliwa akafichwa miezi mitatu na wazazi wake kwa sababu waliona kwamba ni mtoto mzuri wala hawakuiogopa amri ya ufalme we got this hebrew boy coming up into Hallelujah into the the uh, Pharaoh's home where he's ordering the midwives to put Hebrew boys to death, children to death. Amen. But the the midwives said no, we fear God. Amen. Wakati ule wakunga waliambiwa kuwaua watoto wa wa Israel wakakataa. The king's command. By faith Moses, hallelujah, when he has come of years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Tunaona kwa imani mstari wa 24, Musa alipokuwa mtu mzima akakataa kuitwa mwana wa binti Farao. 25 choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God 
than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Akaona ni afadhali kupata mateso pamoja na watu wa Mungu kuliko kujifurahisha katika dhambi. Be prepared to suffer as a saint. Kuwa tayari kuteseka kama mtakatifu. As Christ is suffering in the flesh, arm yourself likewise. Kama Kristo alivyoteseka katika mwili na wewe ujitatiti hivyo. Long suffering these things we're going to have to endure. Kuna vitu ambavyo itabidi tuvumilie. Oh, but we can man endure for a night. Mate, yani kilio kinaweza kadumu kwa muda. joy comes in the morning. God promises joy. Mungu amekuahidi. God promises peace. Mungu amekuahidi. There's a rest for the people of God. Kuna utulizo kwa watu wa Mungu. Also from your labor. Hallelujah. Na pia kwenye kazi yako. In the Lord. Katika Bwana. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. So here you is there when you know in your reading you can read all these acts that were done by faith and 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 so and where God had hallelujah had called them to a work and and how they heard the voice of the Lord and how they were obedient unto the word the word of the Lord and how they were blessed Tunaona shuhuda zote hizi za watu ambao walimtii Mungu na kubarikiwa. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you Jesus. And there was many of uh, of God's people hallelujah that had 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 suffer uh that were martyrs for God. Kuna wengi walioteseka kwa jina. They had died for his name sake. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, th- verse 34 quench the the violence of fire escape the edge of the sword. Hallelujah. Out of weakness were made strong, wax valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of aliens. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were uh, tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Hallelujah. Tunaona mstari wa 34. Walizima nguvu za moto, waliokoka na makali ya upanga walitiwa nguvu baada ya kuwa dhaifu walikuwa hodari katika vita walikimbiza majeshi ya wageni wanawake walipokea wafu wao waliofufuliwa lakini wengine waliumizwa vibaya hata kuuawa wasikubali ukombozi ili wapate ufufuo ulio bora so being tortured hallelujah or being mocked being scourged hallelujah being in prison All these things that have went on then they are going on today as far as persecution of the saints. Yaani yote haya yanaendelea hata leo kwa mateso ya takatifu. And all have obtained a, and it said but it said uh 38 and often the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and dens and caves of the earth. Hallelujah. And these all have obtained a good report uh through faith receive not the promise god have improved some better things provided some better things for us that they all those that went through the what they have went through and died for his name say that they without us should not be made perfect amen amen what about the mwengu haukustahili kuwa nao walikuwa wakizunguka zunguka katika nyika na katika milima na mapango katika mashimo ya nchi thank god for calvary na watu hao wakiisha kushuhudiwa kwa sababu ya imani yao hawakupokea ahadi hawakupokea ahadi kwa kuwa Mungu alikuwa ametangulia kuwawekea sisi kutuwekea sisi kitu kilicho bora ili wao wasikamilishwe pasipo sisi Thank God for Calvary. Thank God for remission of sins. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya Kavari na kwa ajili ya ondolea la dhambi. Do what the Lord say do and be blessed. Tufanye kile ambacho Mungu ametuambia. Amen. Amen. If you willing and obedient. Hallelujah. Tukitii tutakula mema ya nchi. And God has given an invitation. Hallelujah to his church. Matthew 22 and 8. Mungu anatukaribisha Mathayo 22:8. We can find it in Revelation but here through the parable you know he wants you to understand what he's saying here and in your leisure I want you to read this and just interpret what I'm saying. Kwa muda wako utasoma Matthew 22. You know the, the servant had came to him in in, in the 8th verse saying that the wedding is ready hallelujah but those that you call they weren't worthy. Yaani mtumishi akija kumpa ripoti kwamba harusi sherehe iko tayari ila aliyoalika hawa 
there are some there were Pharisees and Sadducees that spoke against Jesus, called them the devil. Resist the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Want to kill him as a her as a someone as a heretic. Amen. Somebody that spoke against the law. Tried to accuse him of everything or anything that he said out of his mouth to kill him. They weren't worthy, hallelujah, of the wedding, hallelujah, that God got prepared for his church. The bridegroom cometh, that is Christ. The church is his bride. Repent, hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Tubu batizo kwa jina la Yesu na muamini Mungu kwa kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. So he said, the Lord said, go into the highways and the hedges, hallelujah, and bid them to come to the marriage. And the servants went out and they found good and bad and they brought them to, hallelujah, the wedding. And it was furnished with, with guests. Hallelujah, so he saw of a will, let him come. Hallelujah. And when and when the king came in to see the guest, he saw a man which had, hallelujah, no wedding garment. Akamwambia rafiki, akamkuta lakini alipoingia yule mfalme na kuwatazama wageni wake, akaona yule mtu mmoja asiyevaa vazi la harusi. And he said unto a friend, he said, you you come hither uh, not having a wedding garment, not pro being properly dressed, and he and he was speechless. The man was speechless. Amen. You naturally you go to a wedding and you're not dressed properly. You you're dressed to the point that. It brings attention. Uh, you're going to be escorted out of there. If you're invited and you come, hallelujah, from the hedges and the highways, they brought them in. Hallelujah. When you come into the house of God, you got to be careful how you set your feet in the house of God and be attentive to hear what God has to say. Tuko wachafu, tuko sawa. Lakini sasa ukija pale, unakuwa una midia kujitakasa ili ustahili kuendelea kubaki pale. But if you don't come with if you don't come with humility, if you don't come hallelujah with expectations of 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 being saved, if you don't come hallelujah uh, under the right circumstances and situation uh, that that God called you to be as being humble and receiving his spirit and to be able to go to heaven you you disqualified because you don't have the right wedding garment on yani ukija bila unyenyekevu bila bidia kutafuta nini kinatakiwa ubaki pale utakosa not being clothed with humility usipojaa na unyenyekevu hallelujah and not being sincere about being saved usipokuwa na kumaanisha katika wokovu wako so the man was speechless kwa hiyo alikosa mtu cha kusema huyo and the king said to his servant Tie him hand and feet and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There'll be weeping and mashing of teeth. Akambiwa mfunge mikono na migu wa mchukua mtupe katika giza la nje. Diko kutakuweko na kilio na kusaga menu. Sounds like hell to me. It is hell. Jesus is describing another prayer and another prayer of weeping and mashing the teeth. You're talking about hell. Right. This is a parable, but you know what? They that are spiritual understand what the spirit has to say. <laughs> Amen. That's why I'm taking the time to explain. <laughs> it's a he so ever will, let him come. But don't you can't come any other way. If you come in any other way, you come as a thief and a robber. 
God got a way. You can't go over him. You can't go under him. You can't go around him. You got to come in at the door. Amen. Amen. For many are called, and but few are chosen. Hapa mstari wa 14 unasema vizuri kabisa. Kwa maana waitwao ni wengi, bali wateule ni wachache. Ndio maana tukitamka wateule katika mafundisho, wateule ni wale ambao wanatunza utakatifu, wamemaanisha kwenda mbinguni. Wateule. Wanaitwa ulimwengu mzima wanaitwa John, John, John. Lakini ni wachache wanaochagua na kuamua kuwa wateule. Kujiita mlokole umeokoka hakuingizi mbinguni. Ni kuishi kumpendeza Mungu. What I'm saying is mm-hmm. wateule this world here. <coughs> in Swahili it almost means the sanctified. Mm-hmm. Everybody is called. The whole entire world is called. Right. But it's those few that have meant they are serious about going into heaven. They are keeping their garments clean. They answer the they call by holy. faith. That's the one that answering the call few, by faith. Very few. Say yes we are Lord. All trying. Yes we are Lord. All working. Mercy God. We are all believing God. Save me God. God. Doing our part. But our in the last day they're going to curse God. Amen. God is going to scratch out his hand and they're still going to mock and curse God even in that last hour. Hata zile dakika za mwisho baba anasema, mtumishi wa Mungu anasema, bado watamlaani Mungu atamkata Mungu. Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Mm-hmm. And in in your leisure also read for time's sake. Soma Warumi. A chapter of Romans verses 30. Through 39. And I'm going to summarize these verses. And it says uh moreover he did predestinate them he called and whom he called he justified and he justified them they and he also glorified okay now what shall then say to these things if god be for us who could be against us mm-hmm. and when god call you you believe god you walking by faith you moving by faith and you trust in God that he will provide you every need that he trust you trust in God that he going to give you the victory over the situ- whatever situation may come your way. Yaani ukija kwa Mungu unamwamini atakutana na mahitaji yako yote. Atatatua shida zako zote kwa wakati wake na kwa njia yake. Amen. Eh, so so God if God be for you who could be against you? Mungu akiwa amekutangulia ni nani atakuwa kinyume na wewe? Amen. Amen. Who shall lay anything or any charge to God's elect? Ni nani atawahukumu wale wataule wa Mungu? It is God that justifies. Ni Mungu mwenyewe ndio anayeamua. Who is he that co- uh, condemns? Ni nani ambaye anahukumu? Amen. Hallelujah. It is Christ that died, yea, rather uh, that he is risen again. Yes, yeah, so 34 that he is risen again and who is he who is even at the right hand of God who also made intercession for us. Ni nani atakayewahukumia adhabu? Kristo Yesu ndiye aliyekufa naam na zaidi ya hayo amefufuka katika wafu naye yuko mkono wa kuumbe wa Mungu tena ndiye anaye tuombea. A lot of God had called us we stepped out by faith we waiting on deliverance, we waiting on healing, we waiting on various things. Hallelujah. God will supply every need and as we wait on the Lord and be of good courage, there will be so many that will try to discourage you, try to get you to be dismayed, want you to be hopeless, want you to be helpless, want you to think that God has abandoned you and so forth. Hallelujah. But we walk by faith and not by sight. I mean, tunaenda kwa imani, sio kwa kuona. Wengi bado tunamsubiria Mungu kwa mambo mbalimbali katika afya mahitaji ya kila siku kutubadi yani kutufungua katika mambo mengi lakini katika yote tunaendelea kuwa mashahidi wa Mungu na tunaendelea kutunza utakatifu ili tuwe tayari as we continue to work for the Lord and sacrifice unto the Lord amen uh we let us not be dismayed yani tunaendelea kumtegemea Bwana na kumtumikia Bwana tusitahayari let us not lose faith tusikose tukapungukiwa imani cast out your confidence away Usiondoe ile tumaini lako. For your confidence have great recompense of reward. Kwa sababu ile kuamini kwako kuna thawabu nyingi sana. Romans 8:35 And who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, shall distress, shall persecution, shall famine, shall nakedness, or peril or sword? Ni nani 35? Atakayetutenga na upendo wa Kristo? 
je ni dhiki au shida au adha au njaa au uchi au hatari au upanga 336 to 39 36 kama ilivyoandikwa ya kwamba <coughs> kwa ajili yako tunawaa mchana kutwa tumehesabiwa kuwa kama kondoo wa kuchinjwa lakini katika mambo haya yote tunashinda na zaidi ya kushinda kwa yeye aliye tupenda kwa maana nimekwisha kujua hakika ya kwamba wala mauti wala uzima wala malaika wala mwenye mamlaka wala yaliopo wala yatakayo kuwapo wala wenye uwezo as it is written at 39 yes 39 please 39 wala yaliyo juu wala yaliyo chini wala kiumbe kingine chochote hakitaweza kututenga na upendo wa Mungu ulio katika Kristo Yesu bwana wetu I hear the man of God saying I die daily and it says in verse 36 as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long and we are counted as sheep for the slaughter nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us god has not only given us the victory but hallelujah we are more than conquerors we go we are undefeated people god got on mungu ana jeshi la kutosha sio watu wa kushindwa pamoja na changamoto zote wanazopata watu wa mungu we got the victory bado tuna ushindi and the enemy know the devil know he got but a short time shetani anajua ana muda mfupi sana amen Amen. He said, "I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord." Don't let nothing separate you from the love of Christ. Usikubali chochote kinachotenganisha na upendo wa Kristo. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The song right said love lifted me when nothing else uh, hallelujah would help love, love lifted, lifted me. me. Mm-hmm. And in my conclusion, the Lord had instructed Moses to and Aaron to bless the people and hallelujah and the Lord spoke to Moses saying, hallelujah speak unto Aaron and unto his son saying, on this wise ye shall bless the Lord Uh, hallelujah uh bless the children of Israel hallelujah saying unto them hallelujah i want you to read 22 and 23 6 22 23 kisha nam uh, number 6 22 kisha bwana akanena na Musa na kumwambia uh, na nani kitabu cha hesabu hesabu 6 22 na kumwambia kisha bwana akanena na Musa na kumwambia Nena na Haruni na wanawe uwaambie hivi ndivyo mtakavyo wabarikia wana wa Israeli mtawaambia Afra 22 and 23 read through 27 to finish Bwana akubarikie na kukulinda Bwana akuangazie nuru ya uso wake na kukuhifadhi Bwana akuinulia uso wake na kukupa amani ndivyo watakavyoweka jina langu juu ya wana wa Israeli Amen. And since we want to leave you with this benediction blessing, as God told Moses and Aaron to leave with his people the children of Israel. Amen. And the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus name we pray. And for Jesus sake we say, Amen. And in numbers 6 and 27 and they shall put my name upon the children of Israel yes. and i will bless them amen. saith the lord amen amen god bless you saints we're going to continue to pray for you continue to pray for us until we meet again peace be unto you. in jesus name god bless amen asante thank you lord